Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wave 2 paint punches with comics. This is like the meaty figures. This is the Wave 2, which was including the Nightwing, the Thomas Wayne or Batman, Joker, and of course, Hal Jordan Green Lantern. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture, paint, and of course the comic, and if it's worth your purchase or not. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's not a support channel, but to keep up today and watch videos like this. So let's take a look at each one and apologize for the glare, but I can't really do much about it because these are plastic and obviously you can see the light. So anyways, let's take a look at each one. So this is the front of it for Nightwing. The side is really not much, but here's the side. Here's the back. And the other side. And I won't do up uh, top or bottom because there's nothing, but there's a DC logo right there in McFarland, and that's pretty much it. Now let's take a look at Thomas Wayne. So, if, or the thing believe this is issue two. So there's the front. Again, no side. The back. The other side. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> And let's take a look at Joker. Oops, and Green, Green Lantern fell, but sorry. Right. The front of Joker, which I really, really like. The back. And of course, last but not least, who decided to fall is Hal Jordan. So that's the front of it. The back. And that's pretty much it. Now let's take a look at each one outside the box. Alright, first one we'll start off is going to be Nightwing. So... Just open this up, pretty straightforward, and they're just kind of taped on. Easy to remove. There we go. And we'll take a look at the comic first. So here's the comic for Nightwing. We'll take a look at the pages. Again, I have not read this particular story, so but you got looks like here the Court of Owls. And I gotta say the paper quality is pretty good. It has a little bit of gloss to it, it's not like a matte finish, but it looks pretty good. Can't complain. Um, I have not read this, so I'm not familiar with it, but overall, the comic looks clean, looks good. Rebirth right there. Here's the front of the comic, and the back of the comic. And, of course, the figure itself, and as always, they do come with this little small packaging here. You have to take it out. Get a little figure right there, but let's take a look at the figure itself, outside the little container. And, I guess it's a cool-looking, cool-looking minifigure. It is small. Very, very small. I think they're like three inches, but you, you, I can't deny. I mean, look at that detail. The painted eyes looks cool. The hair sculpture looks good. It looks clean. You got the, well, let's see if there's any head articulation. Yeah, there is no head articulation. No, it looks like there's arm articulation. Yeah, there's arm articulation, but this one looks like it's, it's a little simple. There is some arm articulation. Leg articulation is present. And that's pretty much it. So, in terms of the articulation, you just got a little bit on the head. It's, yeah, a little bit on the head. You can articulate on the head a little bit. You can see that right there. And, of course, the arms and the legs. So, in terms of articulation, of course, you are limited to it. But the paint job, again, I can't really hate it for $10 for a little minifigure and an actual comic. And the cool thing is the comic does look similar to the figure or vice versa. Which I really, really like, man. Look at the Nightwing paint job, the logo on there. Abdomen, you got paint, you got paint on the leg. So, in terms of the detail, it gets it simple, clean looking, not much going on. But you can't really deny it. The paint's fairly good, man, for a small figure. And, you, again, like I said, if you get a figure that looks similar to the comic, I can't really hate on it, man. I can't ding on it. I think it looks really cool. And, again, for the price of 10 bucks. It's not bad. You could probably get this on sale. I got mine on sale for like a bundle for 30 bucks, all four. So, can't really complain though. Overall, cool looking little minifigure. Now, for size comparison, I have another Nightwing figure right here. You can see the difference. This is from the Bat Family 5 pack Amazon exclusive figure. So, you can see the difference on there in terms of the height. It is really, really small. I mean, again, they're really, really tiny. That, that's. Some people hate that about it, th these figures. I think it's okay. 
I mean, for 10 bucks, you get a small figure, but you can't really deny the detail. But I'm just showing you guys how it looks in terms of the size. And yeah, compared to regular figures, these are tiny, tiny figures, but they look cool. And again, you get a comic with this, you can read it. And I think it's, I think it's really, really cool. I like this one. So to me, for Nightwing itself, is it worth the purchase of $10 for Nightwing by itself? In terms of the comic itself, the page punchers? I think 10 bucks. I think it's a fair price. It's not too much. It's not too little. Because if you really think about it, this is only, maybe you can pay, what, five bucks for the amount of detail for this little figure. But again, you get a cool figure that looks similar to the comic. You can't really ding McFarlane on that. Like, and for the price you're paying for it, it's like, again, looks, it looks identical to this one. Just tiny. But overall, I like Nightwing. I think the Nightwing figure looks really, really cool. But again, just keep your expectations low in terms of the detail. Because for $10, you're going to get a really small figure. So, other than that, but... Yeah, I'll, put, I'll do this. And then you guys can see the little figure right... Uh, it's going to fall. There you go. Alright, let me put Nightwing away. Next we have here, it's going to be the Flash. This is issue 2. So, let's take a look at the comic itself. And again, this is issue 2. The first, the first wave came in with issue one, and let's take a look at the comic. So this is a lot thicker book, your comic book, but again, the page quality is pretty good, man. Again, very has a gloss look to it, which I really like. And I say this as a good thing because nowadays some of the comics, when you actually purchase new comics, they're not even gloss paper. It's like a matte look to it, but these comics, though, they, they, again, it has a gloss paint on it, which just looks good. And look at that detail. Really, really cool. I really like it, man. And again, this is the front of the comic. And the back of it. And of course, let's take a look at Mr... I can open this up. Oops. Thomas Wayne. And he looks pretty cool, man. I mean, it's just a small figure. So keep that in mind. Keep your expectations low. And he's not coming out. I don't know why. Come on. Come on, Thomas. There you go. So, here's Thomas Wayne. He's pretty damn beefy. He's just, he weighs a lot more than Nightwing. But, he looks really, really cool. Head articulation is... This one does articulate a little bit. Just mine's a little stiff. I don't want to break it. Arm articulation and leg articulation. So, I think in terms of these mini minifigures, the articulation is going to be identical. Just the arms, legs, and the head. But just look at that detail. Just look at that utility belt. That detail on that belt, though, is really, really good, man. I really like it. Because what I like about it is that the separation of each little compartment. You see that right there? That's what makes it really stand out, just the separation. And I got to say, though, the paint job looks good. You got the Batman logo there. The paint looks good. The white eyes. Unfortunately, there is no lip or mouth to it. Which kind of looks funny, but overall, it's a cool little minifigure, man. I really dig this one. The utility belt, the detail, it's really, really good for such a small figure, man. And again, it looks cool. I really dig this one a lot. Now let's do a comparison to another Thomas Wayne on the regular one. Obviously, you can see the difference here. More defined and definitely the height difference. Of course, the main difference is going to be the mask. This is unmasked. This is obviously the mask. But overall, man, this is a really cool, cool detail figure, man. I really like this one. And of course, the main question is, is this one worth your purchase by itself? Just by itself. And I think for 10 bucks for this one, again, though, it's I think it's a fair price. Could you get it cheaper? Probably. Because I've seen the first wave go on sale for like around, what, 8 bucks. I even see people see it for like 5 and I think for that price, it's a really good deal. But I think it's a fair price for 10 bucks for all of them. And I think it looks cool. I really dig it. And like I said, having a figure that looks like identical to the comic, I think it's really, really cool. Next up, we have the Joker here. So let's take a look at this one. And let's take a look at the comic itself. Again, clean looking Joker. I like the look of it. And it's a pretty thick uh, comic as well, too. So you can see here the quality of paper. Again, with these comics, they come with the paint punchers. The paint on the 
is really cool, man. Like, I know I'm repeating myself multiple times in terms of the the gloss to it, in terms of the quality of the paper, but I'm saying this because if you buy new comics, they don't have this kind of quality. They have a cheap mat, and you get in here a little minifigure plus a comic with this kind of quality paper, like, you can't really, really hate on it. Now let's take a look at Mr. Choker here, which I think is going to be probably my favorite one. Because, <laughs> look at the head sculpture. Head sculpture looks cool. The eyes look kind of weird. They're kind of down, which just looks kind of weird. But again, the, the little detail on there. Just look at the detail on the mouth, the tongue, the paint, the sculpture. And also to look at his jacket, all that little detail on the jacket. You can see that right there. You can see his little chain right there. I can you can't hate on it too much for such a small, small, small figure. The leg, of course, articulation similar to the other ones. Articulation is very similar similar to the other ones. So overall, this is a cool looking Joker, man. I think this is gonna be probably the their better seller. I think number one's no number one's gonna be Thomas Wayne. Number two is gonna be for sure Joker. Because it looks really, really cool. You guys have to see this in person. And I really, really dig it, man. In terms of this one, I think this one looks really cool. And it matches the comic. And to me, for 10 bucks for getting this and a comic, I think it's worth the purchase price for this one. Now, let's do a comparison to, if he stands, the other Joker. Or the McFarlane Joker and, of course, the Little Meanie. So, you can see that definitely a slight difference. But... I can't hate on it because just look at the detail on the jacket. It's all present here. Like, there's that consistency. There you go. See if you guys can see it like that. See that? You can't really hate on it, man. The jacket looks very, very similar, which I like it, man. I like this one. So, to me, for Joker, I think it's worth the purchase price of 10 bucks for the little mini Joker. And you guys can see it right there. Last but not least, we have here... The Green Lantern uh, was in Hal Jordan one. So let's take a look at this one. And let's take a look at the comic first. See the front of the comic. Again, looks clean. I like the comic in the front. And of course, the paper quality looks. Ooh, was it Black as Night? Yes, Black as Night. I really like that storyline. And man, just that paper quality is really, really, really cool, man. I really, really like the paper quality. Ooh, this is a good, good comic, good story. I know what this is leading up to. If you've not read the Blackest Night story, definitely recommend getting the Blackest Night, reading the Blackest Night story. It's really, really cool. But in just showing you the art, looks really, really cool, very detailed. And let's take a look at the figure itself. And this one looks good. This one might be another good seller because it's Hal Jordan. I know a lot of fans like Hal Jordan. I'm one of them too. But now that I'm looking at it, this is a really detailed little figure. Just look at that head sculpture. The painted white eyes look good. The lips on there look good. Hair sculpture is good. Looks clean. Again, articulation similar to all of them. And then you got the Green Lantern logo. Again, a little sculpture design right there too on his abdomen. Again, you can't hate on it. Like, it's a mini figure. Yes. Three inches is small. Yes. But... Just look at that detail. Like it's, <laughs> I'll, not, I'll do a comparison. You can see what I'm really emphasizing here. But look at the detail also on the bicep, which my camera can't really pick up. You can see the right there, the bicep right there. A little bit of detail right there in his gauntlet, the legs. So this is a very, very good looking figure, man, mini figure. And to me, this one by itself, I think this one's worth the purchase price of ten bucks for the comic and this figure. Because the cool thing is, this one looks so much similar to Hal Jordan from, this is from the, and this is from the two-pack one, if I remember correctly. So there you go. You guys can see the detail. It's going to fall. Oh, it's not. You can see the detail on it. Look at that logo. Look at his abdomen. Also present on here, too. The logo of the abdomen. If you look at his gauntlet, also present on here, too. And of course, if you look at his thigh right there, let me show you a little closer. The thigh detail right there is also present on the little minifigure right there. See that little detail right there? So again, 
you can't really hate on these little minifigures, man. They look cool. When you have it something like this, it looks really, really cool. And of course, when you have them all standing up like so, they look cool, man. Like having the little minifigures in front, they look cool. I really dig it, man. So, main, of course, the main question is, is this worth the purchase price? Should you go out there and purchase these minifigures? I would say yes, purchase them if you can get it on sale. Um, I say this because the first wave, to be honest with you, I got it on sale. I actually got it on sale via the McFarland website store. And there were, no, I think I actually got it by Target. But anyways, you can get the, the bundle on sale McFarland website for about 30 bucks for all four. And I think for 30 bucks for all four, I think it's the fair price. Because you get a cool little minifigure. And, you you know, they look similar to the comic. And you get a comic itself. And I think for... If you get it on sale price, I think it's worth it. For regular price of $10, for me, I think it's more of selective, if that makes sense. If you were to purchase each one for 10 bucks, I would say instead of getting all of them, I would just maybe pick certain ones. For me, the winner is going to be Joker, number one. Second, to me, is going to be Hal Jordan. And third, Thomas Wayne, of course, Nightwing's fourth. They all look good, but to me, Joker is the ones that stand out. To me, in my honest opinion. Now... Are these even worth purchasing, like collecting? I think they look cool. Like the more I looked at them now, I think they're really cool because you can actually bring in the other ones and have a little collection on here too. You guys can see right there. You go, you can see you have a little collection on there. So you have the collection and of course you have a comic and I think they look cool, man. I think they look really, really cool when you have them all or if you have the figure, like the Joker and the actual regular figure, having them both side by side, I think they look really, really cool. And like I said in the previous video, for the uh, the first wave, what you can do is actually, let me show you guys, where it says page puncher, like you see where it says Nightwing on here, DC logo, you can put that behind the comic so it kind of has that cleaner look to it. Like for instance, instead of having it like, let me show you guys real quick here. Don't fall. Uh, come on. Instead of having it like look like this, page punchers in the front, you can have it to look. Sorry, I'm kind of fixing it here. There we go. Like this. Cleaner look to it. Something like this. Where you got the, you got the, I'm sure you can remove the cigarette, but you got the comic and you got the figure that matches with it. And I think having it like this looks much better. Having it like this looks much better than having it the logo like that. That's just my opinion though. But also, they look pretty cool, man, like that. And of course, like I said, if you display them a certain way, you can display it and have a little mini figure in the front, just like so. And you have a cool little image to it. But to me, I think these are cool. The main question is, are these worth the purchase? If you get them on sale for all four, if you get them on sale, definitely get them for on sale for that price. If you're going to pay retail, I would say be more selective. Pick the ones you like the most, and then, in my opinion, get those. But overall, I think these are cool, in my opinion. Thumbs up for me. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me these figures? Do you plan on purchasing these figures? Or do you really purchase these figures? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Just not support channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So includes an overview of the Page Punchers mini figures, wave two, and on to the next one.